Thanks in giving us more updates. Now, viewers, it's time to shift our focus to the ambitious visit by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Now, has met with the leaders of several countries, including those from Italy, Indonesia, Norway, Britain, Egypt, South Korea, and Portugal, on the sidelines of the G20 summit and discussed the ways to improve and strengthen the ties. PM Modi arrived in the Brazilian city after concluding a two day trip to Nigeria. P. Modi also met his Italian counterpart, Giorgia Meloni, and discussed ways to deepen the ties in defence, security, trade and technology. P. Modi also met Indonesian President Prabowo Subantio and discussed ways to improve ties in security, healthcare. The talks during P. M. Modi's meeting with Portugal Prime Minister Luis Montenegro focused on adding more vigour to the economic linkages between the two countries. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has held a bilateral meeting with his United Kingdom counterpart, Keir Starmer, on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Brazil. PM Modi described the meeting as extremely productive and expressed the eagerness to collaborate in areas such as technology, green energy, security and innovation. All right, viewers, now let's take a close look at what exactly the bilateral meeting of Prime Minister Narendra Modi with the world leaders, specifically focusing on his counterparts of a different nation looks like and what were the key areas that were discussed. This is a meeting with the Indonesian president where the bilateral meeting happened and discussions over, in fact, strengthening the bilateral ties and the regional cooperation with India and Indonesia took place at the sidelines of the G20 summit. And when we see this picture, in fact, this is the Portugal's PM Lewis bilateral meeting with PM Narendra Modi, where the discussion over strengthening the ties between the two nations, which usually is the first focus, and enhancing the collaboration across the key sectors took place. When we talk about, uh, in fact, uh, PM Narendra Modi's meeting with other counterparts of our world, where Norway's PM, Jonas bilateral meeting also took place. The discussion on strengthening the ties and also, in fact, relations in a cooperation, cooperation areas like blue economy, renewable energy, hydrogen, solar and wind projects, and focusing more on clean and green energy. Place. Uh, he also met the uh, counterpart of, in fact, uh, Georg Georgia Meloni's, where Prime Minister Narendra Modi's bilateral talk took place and held the meeting with the PM uh, on the sidelines of a G20 summit, also enhancing the regional cooperations in the bilateral talk. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also met, uh, in fact, uh, uh, the president of Abadel Fatah, who is in fact of Egypt and uh, PM also interacted during the first day of the Rio of the G20 summit. These are some of the key moments in fact viewers that we are showing you just in the pictures where the meeting, the bilateral ties are also put in perspective and discussed in detail about with the Prime Minister Narendra Modi on this important visit during the G20. PM Modi also met, in fact, interacted with the president of South Korea, where Yoon Suk Yeol, and this is a picture which you can see on the sidelines of G20, the South Korean uh, president was seen interacting with Prime Minister Narendra Modi, focusing on how to deepen the ties between the two nations. And also, when he will talk about this picture, in fact, on the initiatives launched last January and key international issues, PM Modi also met Macron and reviewed the progress on the ties between the two nations when uh, we speak about. Has the UK PM, in fact, uh, PM Modi also met Keir Starmer and the leaders took stock of the bilateral ties between both the countries. The picture that you can see right there on the screen. All right, viewers. Now, if we put this in perspective, what is important is the fact that the bilateral meeting has taken place across the nations by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and sectors like regional cooperation and clean and clean energy and also enhancing the border cooperation is also discussed. To uh, my colleague Brian, who's joining me live on the broadcast, Brian, exactly, uh, kindly detail uh, about.